Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I'll put out a bonus video on Sundays, so I don't want you to miss any of them. All right guys, so today we are up close and personal because I have in August favorites for you guys. Now I have accumulated a few things over the past probably couple of months. I don't really do favorite videos every single month because I am uh, a person who really likes to enjoy my products. I don't just run out and get new stuff just to get it. Um, but when I do accumulate enough things I do like to do a favorites video to let you guys know what I'm loving and maybe you know you guys can get some ideas from my recommendations. So if you are interested in today's video then go ahead and stick around. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with skincare products because I only have a few of those. And the first device that I wanna talk to you guys about and share is this UFO2. You guys, I love this. First of all, this is like a masking device. It is from the brand Foreo, and I was sent this device by the brand, full disclosure. But I was a little bit skeptical about this because I'm like, do I actually need a device to mask? And another thing you may not know about me, if you've been following me, you do know this, but I can't mask. Like when I went to the dermatologist a few years ago, I was told to kind of stay away from masks. It's, my skin just does not agree with like the extraction of the mask. It's just in my skin scars really easily. So I was a little bit nervous about this and now I may can use masks, but since I was told that years ago, I just don't mask, you know? And if I do, it's like, literally once every six months so when i go get a facial and so this particular device what it is is um it's a masking device it comes with or you can buy certain pads they have different ones i use the nighttime one but they have a youth uh, serum one it's all different kinds of little pads and they have a lot of product on them and you just place it right here on top and you have to use this with your uh, mobile device so it tells you step by step what to do you guys the the warm setting on this is everything it vibrates on the skin it's so smooth and literally when I've woken up my skin has looked so soft and just rejuvenated almost as if I've gone to get a facial it just seems really clear and the clarity of my skin is really nice now I do get facials and I'm sure it has a lot to do with like my skincare products and things like that but I was thoroughly impressed with this and I did not break out so that's a huge plus for me I'll make sure to link this down below for you guys just in case you want to check it out you probably already know about the little cleansing device that they have I have that one as well and it's okay but I find that I love this like 10 times more obviously they do two different things but I just reach for this a lot more so I definitely wanted to share okay so moving on to body products I have the Shiseido sunscreen you guys now you know we all need our sunscreen no matter what color you are how light how dark you are you need sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun rays and to keep your skin looking youthful but I know for a lot of us we struggle with um, higher SPFs making sure that they're not too greasy making sure that they layer well either under foundation or under under your lotions or the smell or just whatever have you this one you guys is every single thing I was sent this by Shiseido as well but let me just tell you they did the thing with this okay now this is one that you can layer with lotion if you want to or put on top of lotion so this has an SPF of 50 and what I love is that you can use this on your face and your body and of course it is water resistant so I layer this under my makeup sometimes and then I put on my moisturizer and go about my day and I even put this on my body especially my arms the you know the areas that are exposed and just days when I know I'm gonna be out in the hot Sun it's been so hot here lately and so this has really come in handy you guys I love this the texture of this is kind of like a uh it's such it's like an essence almost it's a very liquidy thin like consistency and it really rubs into nothing like it leaves nothing you know what I mean like nothing on the skin I love that like it just literally absorbs right into the skin so I love this so much a lot of you guys when I showed this on my Instagram stories you were telling me that this was one of your favorite products and now I see why this is an amazing product so if you have been on the hunt for something um, you know an SPF that is 50 or something like that 
and you need to wear it under your makeup I highly recommend this I have wanted to try out the black girl sunscreen I think that's what it's called but I have not been able to get my hands on it um, because it's only sold online I believe so this has been coming in handy so far and I'm loving it so my next body product is this LV body butter and it is a shea butter you guys by a black owned brand let me tell you something this lady makes a, a whipped shea butter like no other okay i've been using this brand since 2017 but this is a new fragrance for me this is in goal getter i usually go for girls night out and there's another one that i um had as well and i love all of their products they're extremely moisturizing they're all shea butter based just listen brown skin girls you need this because you know we like to have our skin glistening and nice and just moisturized this is it her oils are good her um, body scrub is amazing um, everything is natural it's just an amazing brand so I've been loving go getter for the simple fact that it is a very light scent girls night out the other one that I have is it's a scent you know so you can wear that to bed if you want to smell you know good or if it mixes with any of your fragrance you know I'm a fragrance girl so I don't want to have anything that's gonna um, compete with my fragrance when it comes to you know my body butters or lotions and things like that so absolutely have been loving this fragrance from the brand it is such a nice whipped consistency I don't know if you can see that but it is beautiful you guys like the texture of this is so good I just love this this is like a very soft fresh vanilla scent but super soft super 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 soft i love this so much and it melts right into your skin like it's everything keeps you moisturized all day um what i've learned from other shea butters in the past i would use the shea butter but i always felt like i had to still put lotion on it like it didn't glide over the skin as well this i don't have that problem with so definitely check out lv i'll make sure to link them down below and support a black owned business um this lady makes amazing products so my next product that i have here is a hand cream and this is by parfums de marley in delina and you guys know delina is super popular right now it is one of those fragrances that everyone is talking about the bottle is beautiful it's like a girly girl fragrance that is it's just a gorgeous fragrance. I have Delina Exclusive, which is a little bit heavier, a little bit more powdery, sweeter, and has a little bit more depth. But I did like Delina, it just wasn't my thing, right? So I wanted to get the hand cream just to see if I would like the scent enough to maybe get both. And one thing that I have learned about this, first of all, the hand cream is amazing. It's not greasy or anything. So if you're one of those people who don't like greasy hands, especially if you carry nice handbags, girl, you don't want to mess up your bags and you know your clothes. So this is not greasy at all, but it definitely um, moisturizes your hands really well. And the scent projects, you guys. This projects like no freaking other it's crazy like i have gotten up you know just put this on my hands and maybe ran into the doctor's office or to the store or whatever and people behind a mask are saying oh my gosh what is the fragrance that you're wearing and it's always this hand cream um it's one of those for me i like the scent but i don't get the hype but it's literally catnip for people i wanted to say catnip for men which i've said in other videos but it's catnip for people like men and women alike compliment me on this like all the time so what i've started doing i've started layering this so i may put a little bit on my neck or my decollete and then i will add the delina exclusive parfum on top and the mix is perfect this has that rhubarb note so it's kind of sour kind of sparkling but i like a little bit more of um a fragrance with some depth a little bit more thickness a little bit more i don't know girth to it and mixing them is like the perfect balance so this is like a way that you can get you know the best of both worlds without spending you know four hundred dollars for both so absolutely loving this the only thing i don't like about this is the packaging it is that foil metal packaging so if it gets bent too bad it'll it'll uh, leak because it'll have a hole in it and mine does so it's really annoying but 
absolutely love this and you don't need much and when i tell you guys the projection on this is crazy so if you've been thinking about like if you already have delena exclusive but you're like oh i kind of want delena go ahead and get like a hand cream or um they have a body cream as well like in a jar or even like the uh hair spray they have a hair spritzer do that don't i wouldn't get two of the same you know what i'm saying these products project so well you will not be disappointed so love this and i picked this up off of fragrancenet.com okay y'all so let's go ahead and move into one of my favorite things to talk about which are fragrances you guys know how much i love fragrance they make me happy and i actually have three to share with you all this month in this favorites video so my first one is tom ford's metalik okay so if you watch my blind by haul where i let my subscribers choose my perfumes this was one that you guys wanted me to check out out. so I did I picked it up and if you watch that video you would know at first sniff I was like hmm I'm not sure about this it came out very cold very metallic um, but the beauty is all in the dry down on this one okay it's all about the dry down on this fragrance it is so vanillic when it dries down you guys it is the perfect everyday casual fragrance which I did say that in my initial reaction and I still stand by that um, but I just wasn't sure if it was a me fragrance but this is definitely a me fragrance when I just want to like chill especially okay quarantine we're not doing much you go to the grocery store you know you put on like your sweats or your little lounge outfit or if you're working from home you want to spray a fragrance that's not going to be too offensive um, but you still feel ready to go because that's how fragrance that's what it does for me i feel ready to go once i get my whole thing going and i spritz myself i'm like i'm ready for the day so this is a beautiful one this is also good for nighttime if you want to sleep in this fragrance i love it um yes at first sniff you do get that sweetness you get that like soapy um i think they call it aldehydes you get all of that in there it's very soapy okay but the dry down on this is so vanillic so creamy and beautiful i think you would love this to me it's not a sexy fragrance per se um i think that it is a fragrance that can be sexy if worn at night just because you smell good but you're it doesn't seem like you're trying too hard but in the daytime when you wear this it's just that throw on and go fragrance that you do not have to worry about you don't have to think about it you just grab it you know so i've been loving this surprisingly you guys been loving this i'm actually gonna spray this now because i'm not going anywhere and you know it'll be a nice one to just kind of have on for the video so i love this so much thank you to whoever recommended that i get this because it's everything okay guys so my next fragrance oh my goodness like wow so it's a cupcake and the packaging alone is just gorgeous this is from the house of siage and this is hotes bijou now hotes bijou is just a tropical fragrance that has i believe grapefruit and mango um has some kind of floral notes in there i cannot remember all of the notes but i did a blind buy on this this was a niche blind buy video i'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys to check out as well and you'll see my first impressions with this particular fragrance this fragrance is so beautiful you guys it is when i saw the notes i thought that i would be attracted to it but more so i was attracted to the color of the cupcake because i'm that kind of girl um but when i tell you i was very surprised by this fragrance reading the notes you would think that this could be a very um juvenile fragrance not not in a bad way you know like the 20 somethings but they have done tropical in such an adult way it is so it's so mind-boggling to me that this tropical fragrance is not for the little girl it is just not you think mango and grapefruit and sweet things and you know just tropical things and it's it's not that like it is that but it is for a woman honey a whole woman it is so good it's so fresh it's perfect for summer i've worn this on several occasions like out to brunch um and i get so many compliments on this it performs so well in hot hot weather you guys like when i tell you every time i wear this i'm asked 
constantly what are you wearing what are you wearing what are you wearing and it totes bijou the sillage on this one is every single thing it projects it lasts it's beautiful it's strong while still being tropical when i think of tropical i think of fleeting scents and maybe i'm the only one but this does not go away like i mean it's not like baccarat rouge you know it doesn't stay on your clothes for days and days and days it could but it's so strong you guys i love that i love that i have a fragrance for the you know hotter weather um warmer weather where it, I don't have to worry about it. I spritz it on, you know, a nice spritz because she likes to do about six to eight spritz. But once I do that, I am good to go all day. And like I said, I've been out to brunch and just out for hours and hours and hours. And I'm still getting compliments all the way to the end of the night. So highly recommend Hotes Bijou. I know we're nearing the end of summer, um, but this is a good one to have in your collection. And again, the cupcake itself is just so beautiful. So I am so happy that I have this one. On the other hand, my Chavot Dior, I'm still trying to get into her. I'm st you know, I'm gonna give her a little bit of love in the fall. I've tried to wear her a few times. She doesn't last as long, but this one here, everything. Okay guys, so my last fragrance is Creed Aventus for her. This is a must have. I feel like if you are a fragrance connoisseur, you need a Creed in your life. My first Creed was Royal Princess Oud and I love that so much. It was so different for me, but it was one of those things that really just made me feel so rich, so elegant. And so I had a hard time picking up Creed Aventus for her because I felt like everyone had this fragrance and you know, I just didn't think that I needed it because to me it's kind of similar. It has the same kind of DNA as Royal Princess Oud, but this one is a softer version. And when I wear this, I get tons of compliments as well. I think that this is such a ladylike fragrance that still has a little bit of oomph to her. So like ladylike, but she carries a briefcase because she's taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? Um, not too offensive either. It does dry down very softly, but you can definitely still smell it. And I like that a lot so for certain days this is the vibe you know what i'm saying and i i just love it so this has like a green apple note it has some pear in the base it also has patchouli um and bergamot i really smell the bergamot in that in this the dry down i do smell the patchouli and i'm not offended by that patchouli either because some patchouli scents are just way too much for me but i think the patchouli the bergamot in this is what really gives it that RBE effect and you know we love that. So this is such a good scent. I haven't had it long and I've already used this much. So loving this. Now, <laughs> caveat, um, I got a sample of Creed Aventis, the original for men. That may be better than this one. The one for men has such a prominent pineapple note that I just love so much. I got a sample because I wanted my boyfriend to try it out to see if he wanted it and he loves the scent. I love it. I even like mixing them so hopefully he gets it so I can kind of get a decant from him and I can mix it. Um, the, the men's version, it literally smells like the male version of this which I think is genius actually because um, you know sometimes it does not have the same like DNA. It is literally the same fragrance just for a man but as a woman i want to wear it as well so i just love the way that they did that and both scents are amazing but this one i'm super happy to have i mean to me this is an office scent it's a church scent it's a brunch scent um it really just depends on what i'm wearing for me it's daytime um i think you can wear it all year round but for me it is definitely daytime um spring summer for me but i like a heavy hitter in the in the winter the fall and winter i like that thick you know that musk that you know vanilla and all of that and so this is a little lighter for me which is why i love it in the hot heat and it performs well but i haven't had it long enough to really tell you you know if it will work in the fall so when fall comes on around i'll let y'all know what i think but loving this so far but i do get a lot of questions asking is this only for summer um i think it's a signature scent you know so keep that in mind like it's definitely signature scent worthy 
it's beautiful it's beautiful and if you are any type of you know perfume connoisseur or fragrance connoisseur you need this in your life trust me okay guys so you know I can't talk about fragrances without sharing something that you know makes my home smell good as well so everything that I'm currently using you have heard about so I'm not gonna even mention like my plugins and all of that but I do have a candle that I have not mentioned on my channel and this is rose water meringue and it smells so good you guys let me see what actually is in this so it's fresh rose water spun pink sugar creamy vanilla bean with essential oils my god it's the creamy vanilla bean and the rose water for me i did not know it had the spun pink sugar in there and that y'all this smells so good it is a sweet rose a vanilla rose they actually have vanilla rose i believe my sister has that one and i wanted it it's a part of the like um is it the essentials line or like that little i forget it's like a special line that they have but this one i like a lot so i like this one just for my living room i want this in a plug-in um i like it for the kitchen for my bedroom it's kind of strong if you have a smaller room so i like to do this in the kitchen or my living room mostly because in the bedroom you can end up choking off of this thing which is good because i mean you know you want like a candle that is worth your money and this is bath and body works you guys so definitely worth the money on this like i love this scent so much and um yeah it's new for me but i can't wait to buy more of these i only bought one but i should have bought more so really loving this scent at the moment it's everything okay guys so let's go ahead and move into makeup i have a few products that i want to share with you guys the first one is one that i'm actually revisiting um i've had this particular bronzer from anna Anastasia for a while this is the powder bronzer in mahogany and let me open it for you guys so this is the shade here now I usually go for the black radiance contour um, palette and I love that it's way more affordable but I've run out of it so of course you know I'm using what I already have before I just go out and buy more and this was in my collection and I used it at one point and I really liked it but then I stopped using it so now I'm revisiting it and I like it a lot um, this is a really soft contour but it has the color payoff that we need especially as brown girls in this mahogany shade it does lean a little bit red and i am wearing it today i'm not sure if you guys can see that but i'm loving what that's doing you see that like reddish tone and i don't even have blush on i just have on a highlight so i'm really loving like that reddish tone um i think this one is a really good one for the fall maybe um even for summer because it gives you like that bronze goddess glow almost it's something about like a reddish orange tone that gives you like that nice glow so absolutely loving this again um and no it does not replace necessarily my bronzer that i use from black radiance because that one is a little bit more cool tone but yeah i highly recommend you all trying this one out this one blends in the skin really really well it does not take a lot of work so if you're a beginner i would recommend this one as well just get you like an angle brush and just go right in i even contoured my nose with this one which i didn't think that i would like because it does have that reddish tint but it doesn't look bad to me and it's very natural so that's what i'm loving about this at the moment so yeah happy to you know have have revisited this and yeah it's it's a really good bronzer you guys now it's not cheap but i think it's like what forty dollars not too bad so i recommend this so the rest of my makeup products are very affordable they are all from the dollar general and i do partner with the dollar general but they don't make it into the favorites all the time okay and these did so the first one is the belief beauty um this is called the matte blur loose powder i got mine in medium deep and i do have a um tutorial using affordable products all believe beauty products that are five dollars and under every last one of them perfect for brown girls check out that video i'll make sure to link it or have it in the card somewhere but this is what that powder looks like this is such a soft powder i absolutely love it i use it to set under my eyes um when i do my concealer just like an all over dusting and then sometimes i set like in the um smile lines of my face one thing that i've stopped doing is setting my entire face with powder i just find that i don't really need it especially now that my skin is more balanced i don't get as 
oily as I used to. And so I just use setting powder in the areas that it's necessary for. So definitely under the eyes where you put in the concealer, you don't want that to crease up. And sometimes in my smile lines, I'll do the same. So been loving this. And like I said, $5, you guys, like this is really, really, really good. Um, this is in medium deep. I'm not sure of all the other colors, but check out your local Dollar General. If you haven't checked out Believe Beauty products, I mean, you're really missing out. They're good. So my next Believe Beauty product is this eyebrow gel, you guys. And I'm not an eyebrow gel girl. Like, this is something new for me. I've used eyebrow gels in the past when I wanted to add a tint to my brows. Like if I was wearing blonde hair, I have really dark brows. So I would like to like lighten it up a little bit, but this is so nice. And again, $5, you guys, or less. I can't remember. I know it's $5 or less. The little brush, let me show you. This little brush is every single thing. Like I have it on my brows today and I really just like the way that it defines the individual hairs. So if you're one to fill in your brows and you feel like you lose the hair strokes, this is it. This is it. And it does not, for me, I have dark brows, so I don't need anything that's going to like make my brows too dark and I don't have to worry about that. And this is in dark brown. I absolutely love what this does for my brows, you guys. Again, check out the um, tutorial where I did my makeup and you'll see, but this is so good, like holy grail. And then lastly, I have this lip gloss. Now this is in June Berry. Every time I wear this, you guys have been asking me about it and it's from Believe Beauty. I mean, I think it's like two or $3. Such a gorgeous gloss. This reminds me of um, the diamond glosses by, uh, what is it, Makeup Forever. It also reminds me of the Mac Daddy glosses with all that nice, gorgeous shimmer. These glosses I've used for about a year or so now but this is a new color for me but i absolutely love the formulation of these they last forever um on your lips like you don't have to keep reapplying it maybe i'll put a little bit on now so you can see it's so pretty right look at that i love it you guys this is such a beautiful color it's like an orangey gold color so beautiful so I really recommend you try these glosses out any of the glosses are good but my favorite colors is the Juneberry there's Georgia peach that I like um, and there's another one I cannot remember the name of it um, but all the peachy nudie colors are my favorite okay this one has just a little bit more glitter than the others. I love this. All right, guys, we're kind of nearing the end. I want to show you guys some jewelry that I've been loving. And you probably already know because you see the jewelry pieces in every single video. So the first piece of jewelry that I'm loving are my LV earrings. Now, these LV earrings, I've seen... When they first came out, I saw them and I was like, you know what? They're cute, but I'm not paying that for that. And I think at the time they were like $500. So then I was like... I like them, but again, just it wasn't a necessity for me. And I was a hoop girl, definitely a hoop girl. So it was interesting. But the more that I saw them on people, the more chic they looked. I think it was Melissa's wardrobe that really like turned me on onto them because she made them look so chic. I mean, everything she wears, she looks amazing in it. But I really looked at her. Um, wearing these hoops and I was like, you know what? I think I need them. And so I had purchased a pair of sneakers from LV and I just decided to throw these in the bag as well. Like I was already spending enough money. So I just threw these in the bag. And honestly, you guys, these have been my go-to hoops. I didn't think that I would wear them as much because they're very gold in my opinion. Um, but I really reach for these all the time. They instantly elevate a look. If you have on just like, especially when I wear like my pajama sets, you guys know I love my loungewear sets or whatever. And I wear mine out because they are loungewear pieces. I throw these on and instantly I'm giving RBE vibes. Like every single time okay when i wear my hair back in a ponytail and i put these on it goes it goes with dresses it goes with jeans i mean it's just they're really good now of course they are not real gold um i get a lot of questions about these like 
do I think they're worth it? Um, for the cost per wear, I would say yes. I've actually gotten my wear out of these, but they have gone up in price. I still have an issue with the price of these. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a, I have a huge issue with the price of these. I just don't feel like it's worth that but I'm not the designer, so I can't tell him what to do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, I do wear them a lot. I'm happy I have them. I love them. But now they're like $700. It's like, I, I don't get it. Um, but I just, I just can't wrap my head around that. But they're good. Like, I wear them all the time. I get tons of compliments every time I wear them. You guys compliment me. Even in real life, I'm getting compliments. So, you know, I love them. I don't regret them. But worth it it just depends on if you want them or not i mean you know what i'm saying so they are in high demand so it may be hard for you to find them online but they're they're good they're not heavy um they don't tug they feel like really great quality in your hand they have some weight to them but they don't weigh down your ears so you can wear these all day and i forget i I'm, i have them on you know so that just goes to show you they're not super heavy because i've had earrings that it's like they give you a headache after a couple of hours these i have no issues with i've even slept in these on accident you know falling asleep so i do recommend these you guys they're really really good they go with everything and they are definitely our RBE vibe so if you want them make sure to check them out I'll link them down below okay guys so I'm gonna come a little bit closer because I have a necklace that I want to show you guys it's one of my favorites I'm wearing it right now and oh my goodness I'm obsessed with this necklace this necklace is from Ana Luisa jewelry and it is everything I have the necklace and the bracelet and when I first got this it really gave me Van Cleef vibes like because it has that like little clover detailing but also when i think about it it's kind of giving lv vibes as well regardless of the fact it's giving rich vibes okay rbe rich energy you already know what it is so i love this little necklace it is perfect it goes with everything i like to layer it i like to wear it alone i just love the necklace it's so pretty i also like the fact that it has a an adjustable clasp but it does not hang so it's just so beautiful bad thing is this necklace has been sold out on the website for a while but i will link it down below just in case you want to be put on the wait list you know but i like the bracelet and i also love the necklace they're great layering pieces great to wear and you guys know i work with anna luisa um and i do get jewelry sent to me this was sent to me but they have some of my favorite jewelry the jewelry that i'm complimented on the most the, the jewelry that you guys see me wearing the most is anna luisa jewelry because they have such beautiful dainty gold pieces that's where i get a lot of my gold pieces it's gold plated so you're getting like 14 karat gold plated um sometimes i think they have the 18 karat as well i have showered in these pieces before i didn't have any issues i don't want to make that a habit but i have done it um i've slept in the pieces no issues whatsoever just love the company love what they stand for and the jewelry pieces have not let me down i've worked with this company for over a year and like i said some of these pieces are so old and i still wear them all the time so you guys please check out anna luisa jewelry even if you don't um you're not able to get this particular necklace they have other options on there for you okay guys so i have a couple of pairs of shoes and i'm just gonna go in order of when i got them and the first pair you guys of course are my air meds or ron sandals you saw if you watch my luxury haul you would know how shocked i was that i liked these sandals because to me they were just not my style um, but they would sell out so often i was up one night and I just kind of picked them up on a whim, not even really thinking about it. It was kind of like a sleep by. And you guys, I've worn these to death. I literally wear these every day almost. Like it's crazy. Only one other thing has replaced these and I'm gonna show you in a minute. But I love these so much, you guys. They're so comfortable. I did get mine in a 38 because I heard that they ran kind of narrow, but I don't find that to be true. I find that these run extremely true to size because the leather stretches out. So I definitely could have sized down and got a 37 and a half. And I have proven that to be true because I already have a second pair. Um, and I got a 37 and a half and I love the way that they fit. Now at first, you know, 
know, when you put these on, they're fine. But after like the second wear, you'll notice that the leather is already stretching out. So I don't have wide feet, but you know, if you just have like normal width feet, I would say go with your normal size. But these are so cute. Like I'm tempted to buy like several colors. I have to stop myself. It's weird. It's kind of like, like when I go on the website and they have my size, I'm just like, oh, I want to get those, want to get those because the price point is so good, but I need to slow down because why, you know, why do you need so many? Um, but I love these so much, you guys. I'm excited to see what they have coming out new because they had a pink pair that I love, but they were suede and you just, you just don't do suede slides. Like I don't agree with that. So loving these so much you guys like oh my goodness look look at the bottoms i have worn these down it's disgusting like i need to wash my hands right now um i've worn these down like they're everything so if you have been on the fence or you've been thinking about it I would recommend them. Um, these are usually not my style, like I've said several times before, but I do find myself just throwing these on and they go with so many things and it's it's perfect for summer. So I like the white color. I'm not mad at the brown leather trim or anything. So loving these. Okay, y'all, so I had to go wash my hands real quick because I was touching the bottom of those shoes. But if you remember, I mentioned that there's only one other pair of shoes that have been taking the place of those and I have them on now. These are it. These are it, you guys. Let me take them off my feet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys, these are my Ugg slippers that I recommended you guys to get in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They are every single thing. I knew I wanted these. I'm so glad I got them. I was thinking about the ones that were enclosed, but then I was like, no, I want the slide version. And you guys, these are so good. They're so comfortable. They're so cozy and warm um i just i love these so much i got that gray color i think it's called mink or i can't remember the name of it but it's like a gray nude like if you're into the skims or if you're into like you know that yeezy kind of color palette these are everything so i can totally see girls wearing this with like you know the cute little track suits or like sweat suits and stuff um and just throwing these on but i literally wear these every single day literally every day okay like you can see my foot imprint all throughout here i have been wearing these down love the fact that they have a hard bottom as well i did plan on only wearing these in the house but i'm not gonna lie i'd be running out in these too and they're so cute they just they're so comfortable they can be a little bit itchy. If you're familiar with Uggs, you know what I mean. Like that lamb fur or shirling can be a little bit scratchy, um, but once you wear them in, it's not bad at all. Um, I have seen on reviews that the bottoms, like the soles, kind of wear through a little bit. Obviously, I haven't had that issue just yet, um, but I'm kind of concerned about that. These were on sale, I think, for 50 something dollars, so a good price and definitely worth the money. Um, they're everything you guys every 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 single thing I got mine in a US 7 I always go down a size in my Uggs um, and yeah I recommend these if they still have them get them I know they had them like in hot pink lime green they had like a navy pair um, so whatever I can find I'll definitely link it for you guys but loving these so much like I, I never want to take them off. They're so comfortable. Okay, guys, so I'm going to close out the video with a couple of handbags that I have been loving and using tons for the past couple of months. And the first one is my Chanel pearl bag. Um, it's the pearl strap. So let me show you guys that. I'm sure you've seen me wear this several times. Um, I, I love this bag so much. I think I love it even more because I got it for such an amazing deal. Um, they were having 10% off and my essay told me to just come on in and you know, he had a few things for me and it, this was one of them. And this is like, to me, an iconic bag. It'll be something that I cherish forever. And on the um, resale market, it's going for like 3000 over what I pay, which is crazy to me. Um, but I'm not ready to part with it yet, but I can make money off of this. So this was definitely like an investment piece just i love it so much one thing i will say i don't love the fact that it can only be worn to me um you know single strap or crossbody in order to show the pearl detailing and 
I like that because I was in the market for a more casual bag, but because this is a lamb skin, you have to be careful with it in my opinion. And so I found myself literally throwing this on every two seconds, like running to the post office, running to the grocery store, running out anywhere and I'm throwing on this expensive lambskin bag that you have to be careful with. So I had to make myself put this bag up, but it's so convenient, it's so lightweight. It fits the perfect amount that you need for every day. And it feels just so good on. Like I just, I love this bag so much. But again, I had to stop myself from wearing this bag because I don't wanna ruin it. You know what I'm saying? It is lambskin and I am obsessed with lambskin. So, um, so far it still looks really nice, but you know, you definitely have to be careful with it. It's such a beautiful bag, you guys. Like, I'm so happy I got this. It was just meant to be for me to have this bag. But um, yeah, so this definitely inspired me to get a quarantine bag. I may share that at some point, but I had to get a quarantine bag because I can't keep throwing on my good bag, you know, just to head out the, uh, head out the door. So loving this so much. Uh, I think this is called My Precious Pearl or My Precious Bag or something like that. Um, this was from last season, so I'm not sure if it's still available. I doubt it, um, but you know, definitely call around and see if you can find it or maybe you can find it on the resale market all right y'all so last but not least i had to show you guys this little basket bag that you guys ask me all the time about i kind of snuck this one in there didn't i um this is a bag that i just picked up on a whim from it's a place here called ual i think they do have a website but it's basically just a place where they sell discounted designer items and the designer items like you can find some really good gems in there i've shopped there for years like probably since 2012. um so i randomly went in there i picked up a valentino blazer that day and i also picked up this little bag this is by ula johnson and i love this bag you guys i literally wear this bag like it's not like a whole statement piece out here i be wearing this with sweatpants and stuff like i said to the grocery store to you know the um post office so this is how it looks on the inside it's just a little um what do you call it linen on the inside it has one little pocket and it's a nice size bag but you have to be careful with overdoing it because you can't really get all the way you know off in there good so um i love this bag i like the fact that it has a leather strap and it also has a top handle you guys know how i feel about a top handle and i believe i paid 80 bucks for this bag the only thing is um the reason why i haven't really mentioned it much is because i can't find it anywhere for you guys i have looked up this bag several times online to find it and it's sold out everywhere so i'm assuming this is like super old seasons um you know like past season or whatever but i love this bag i think it's perfect for the um summertime obviously i wouldn't really wear this in the winter or fall but it's the cutest little bag for spring and summer and it goes with all of my summer outfits you guys know how much i love white and this goes really well with my hermes sandals as well so i just love this bag so much you guys and you guys are loving it as well so like I'll look again and see if I can find a link for you all, um, but I haven't been able to find it at all. So yeah, I think it's called the Ula Johnson, Ula Johnson Top 2 bag, T-A-U-T-O-U. -U. So you can look that up and see what you find, okay? All right guys, so that is the end of my August favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out that description box because I'll have everything that is still available link for you guys. And also, if you have any things that you have been loving, make sure to comment those as well because I'd love to know. Maybe I wanna try some new things too, just depending on what it is. So if you think that I may like any of your things that you've been loving, make sure to let me know and I'll make sure to try it out. So thank you so much again and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye guys.